What are the great centers of Buddhism in Orissa? We have discussed till now the prevalence of Buddhism in Orissa in the early Christian era as we know from traditions recorded in Buddhist literature about Tosari. Tosari is one name of a part of ancient Orissa. Tamralipti, known as Cheli Talo Pusi Pokili, Cheli Taso Pusi Pokili, as mentioned, this name was given by the Chinese pilgrim Wan Chuang, means Huen Sang, when he visited Odessa in 7th century AD. Ratnagiri, Jairam Bihar were other great centers of Mahayana Buddhism. In the early centuries of Christian era, the Buddhist ruins at Ratnagiri, Udaygiri and Lalitgiri in Jaspur district provide very many important evidences to show that the monastic establishment in this area hills started during this time and even before that to show that the monastic establishment in these areas started at least from the 5th, 6th century AD. The memoirs of the Archaeological Survey of India, number 44, has published the fragmentary inscription in the cursive Gupta script in 5th and 6th century AD. This indicates that the place existed as a Buddhist tantric establishment in the Gupta period. Scholars opine that both Hinayana and Mahayana have joined at some places or prevailed separately some places and prevailed side by side in Odisha. By the first century AD, these two forms of Buddhism that grew out of primitive Buddhism became antagonistic to each other. Buddhism, however, flourished from the beginning of the 7th century AD. This has been attested by several evidences. It is not that we propose a theory and there is no logic behind it. There are several evidences to prove that Buddhism flourished from the 7th century AD in Odisha. I told you about the Vaumakara rulers. They are using the titles known as Paramata Thagata. Thagata is another name of Buddha. Paramata Thagata and Parama Saugata, which is also Parama Ananda, and it is it means to obeisance to the Buddha. Now, during this period, in the Bhaumakara dynasty period, 7th century to 9th century AD, there was a king called Sivakara Unnata Singha. Sivakara Unnata Singha sent an autographed manuscript of Buddhist work, which is known as Gandabhiho, to Taiwan, uh, sorry, to, to different, uh, to China, not Taiwan, to China. And this Gondabhiho was sent by the Bhomakara ruler to the Chinese emperor, Seishong, who received it in 795 AD. The great monastery of Ratnagiri 
became the center of Buddhist religion, learning, tantra, and yoga. The Buddhist ruins, ruins as Ratnagiri, Radhanagar, Tapur, Kayama, Languri, Lalitgiri, in the rest of in the district of Jaspur provide measuring evidence to show that monastic establishments in these places flourished during the Gupta and the post-Gupta period as archaeological excavations suggested. Huen San, the Chinese pilgrimage visited Odisha in the 7th century AD. His vivid account of Buddha, of Buddhism, at that point of time, according to the Huen Sang, according to Huen Sang, the Chinese traveler, it was a wonderful country, Odisha. He described in his book, when said it, had, it was a beautiful country and when he was telling about Orissa, he was referring to a word Ucho and this Ucho is identified with Udro, another name of Orissa in earlier times. He spoke about a mantra he spoke about hundreds of Sangharamas and thousand priests and they are all studying Mahajana, the great Veta. He spoke about a monastery at Puspagiri also, it's another part. It is known as Pusipokili. The stupa belongs to it which exhibited many spiritual women. A spiritual wonder. The pilgrim made us to believe that Puspagiri was a great center of learning like Nalanda or Vikramshila. Huen San gives description of the city of Chelitalo, Chelitalo or Chitrotpala in Odia, situated on the southeast frontier, Uchu described all those things in his travelogue. And this Puspagiri, he wrote, was a great center of learning like Nalanda and Vikramshila. Huen Sang gives description of the city of Chelitalo situated on the southeast frontier of Uchu, is practically known as Tamralipti, on the borders of the ocean. The place is being identified as Chitrapur and the present uh, by, by uh, present day Chitrapur is present day Puri has been identified by Alexander Cunningham, a great Indian scholar. He's a German scholar but wrote about 